12 News is your local election headquarters. High-profile Democrats are rallying around Vice President Kamala Harris. Today she received an important endorsement while former President Donald Trump hosted a visit with Israel's Prime Minister. Erica Brown is in Washington now with the latest on the campaign. Kamala. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Vice President Kamala Harris got the endorsement of two of the country's most prominent Democrats. Barack and Michelle Obama, the former president and first lady, broke the news in a phone call released by the Harris campaign. Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and into the Oval Office. That latest backing comes as Harris moves forward as the Democratic Party's likely presidential nominee. The campaign is vetting a list of potential running mates. What's up, Phil? which may include Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, who rallied for Harris in Philadelphia. She is a fearless leader. She has always put people before the power. A series of polls shows Harris closing the gap between her and former President Donald Trump, heading toward the election on nearly equal footing. On Friday at Mar-a-Lago, Trump hosted Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, their first meeting in nearly four years. The visit came a day after Harris told Netanyahu it's time to make a ceasefire deal with Hamas and bring home the hostages. Trump has also urged a quick end to the war in Gaza, but he called Harris's remarks disrespectful. I actually don't know how a person who's Jewish can vote for her. But uh, that's up to them. But she was certainly disrespectful to Israel, in my opinion. Both the Trump and Harris campaigns will be on the road this weekend, with Sunday marking exactly 100 days from the November election. The Harris campaign is expected to name a VP pick by the first full week of August. The Democratic National Convention begins on August 19th in Chicago.